In this video, we're going to talk about form handlers. Now, Pardot also provides you forms, but if you have a website which is built on PHP, .NET, or WordPress, and you already have forms over there, but whenever someone submits that form, you want that data to come into Pardot. To do that, we are going to make use of form handler. Let's look into Pardot. If you go to marketing, Go to forms, form handlers. Let's add a new form handler. Let's name it as event form handler. We'll associate to a folder, associate to a campaign. Then success location is whenever someone submits the form, where do you want it to go? It can go to a specific URL or it can remain on that particular page itself. Let's say specific URL, specify w.google.com. And then whenever any error occurs, let it be on the same page from where the error has occurred. So it should be referring URL. Whenever someone submits a form, what kind of completion action we require? Take for example, let's say add it to a list and that list could be heritage spring list. Now, the next part is we have to create the form handler. While creating the form handler, we have to do a mapping between the form which is there on our website to the one which is there in our par dot. To do that, we are going to create new fields. We have, for this particular demo, we have a HTML form which has got first name, last name, and email. And this is how this form looks like. First name, last name, and email. So if we go back, Less the external name, we have to just make sure that the name matches. So we'll just copy paste this. Prospect field is first name. Text, say save changes. We'll add one more field. Last name. Make sure that the field is matching the name because it is all case sensitive. This will go to the last name of the prospect text and the email is there. Such. If I just do it. It's email over here, external field name. And over here also it is email. Let's cancel this and now we are going to create this form handler. And let's now copy this particular URL and paste it in our HTML action. Let's save it. and refresh this particular HTML form. Let's take for example, I just add an email ID over here and hit submit. Now let's go back and then Let's refresh this page. We would have seen a new prospect has been created now. This is how we make use of form handler. Just to reiterate, we have a form which is built on any technology in the world. It could be Java, .NET, WordPress. We want to ensure that when someone submits it, the data has to come into Pardot. To do it, we make use of form handler where we create the form handler 
while creating we have to make sure that the name the HTML field names is exactly the same and we specify the action URL when we specify that whenever a submission happens that particular data comes into the part dot so if we look into this particular name look into the list it has been added to heritage spring list because that was the completion action thank you